this bantamweight fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner, Corey Sanhagen! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sugar Sean O'Malley! You ready to fight? Ready! Well, this was a fight that just had to happen, as trite as that may sound. Corey Sanhagen versus Sean O'Malley. Some stylistic similarities in both fighters smack dab in the middle of their fighting prime. Yeah, right in the middle of their prime. And Sean O'Malley and Corey Sanhagen may be the only two fighters in his division to match each other's stats in terms of their physical attributes. Right. They're both tall. They're both long. They're both lean. And they both are very creative in their striking approach. This is one of the best matchups you can make at Bantamweight, and I'm excited to see it take place tonight inside the Oscar. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice defense there, huge block. So more output, at least in the early going. holds up. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Under three minutes here to go in the round. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to let him oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Now we're going. Oh, oh! He's hurt bad. Where's that high shit? Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Oh, that was a nice strike. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Lead right will work nicely done there by O'Malley. And everything's landing with so much power. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice jab there by Sandhagen. Well, they oh, oh, bad. Oh. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh. 
Big hook. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Fighters separate from the clinch now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. O'Malley gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. See if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Ready. Your opponent's staggering Ready. back to his corner Good. and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. lands to the body. Nice kick. a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Just missed with the left there. Making all these shots count. All right, side control now. And he is back up to his feet. Straight right is there. Three minutes to go in round two. He did a picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, back and forth go. And just misses with that big right hand. Sam Higgins' nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Misses with the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. He 
man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. One minute. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the state. Final seconds here of round two. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't Ready affect fight. him too much. What right. we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. <laughs> Let's get to the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good for him. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, with authority, the body. Throwing that drip. Man, his chin has been tested early. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That was a beautiful head kick. Dan Hagen's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Lands a quick jab. Takedown defense is there. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Sean O'Malley. Big shot there for both guys. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice body shot. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Swing and a miss with that punch by Sam Hayden. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. 
Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's, he's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. It's work, guys. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. O'Malley's oh, flying knee to the head. O'Malley's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Sandhagen gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. It's a beautiful fast foot jab. With the oh, Holy smokes. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Corey Sandhagen! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times, walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.